This is big. And small travel. We're in. Tbilisi. In Georgia. We are in Georgia, a country in the crossroads of Western Asia and Eastern Europe. We want to show you every side of Tbilisi that we saw during our one month stay. This is definitely the most beautiful part of Tbilisi. Some people even believe that wine was invented here. And look at that thing. The food was our favorite part of Georgia. It's rich and very unique. As a post-Soviet country, Georgia is quickly changing. However, its strained relationship with Russia continues. Two regions that border Russia have long been in conflict, which has incited protests on a regular basis. Georgia is in a politically strategic location in the Caucasus region of Eurasia. Hello, we are so excited to be here in Tbilisi, and we're going to be showing you 10 things to do here in Tbilisi. Watch us. Yes, we're actually just walking through our neighborhood right now yes. that we stayed for about so, a month. Most of you will probably only be here for maybe a few days. Yeah. And just about probably everything. Probably better option. <laughs> just about everything you're gonna see on this video uh, will mostly be in the center. Yes. But we will have a few outliers that we highly recommend. We will also talk briefly about Tbilisi as a digital nomad hub. Because of its affordability, cafe scene, and flexible visa requirements. <laughs> A little side note. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're so excited to show you our 10 things to do in Tbilisi. Woohoo! Woohoo! Let's yeah. get to it! Yes! Yeah! Woohoo! The journey started from Baku, Azerbaijan. We traveled to Tbilisi by train. We literally took a midnight train to Georgia. Georgia! Wow, look at this. This will not be light. <laughs> this will be quite heavy. Look at that piece of butter. Wow, look at this. And this is what we will have. What are we having? So this is one of Georgia's uh, main dishes. It's called the kachapuri. And um, it looks quite decadent. This is kind of the original version. So it's like a bread bowl. Lots of cheese, an egg on top, and a big slab of butter. So maybe not the healthiest thing, but it does look quite delicious. I don't even know how to eat this thing. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Here in Georgia, you even have really, really good vegetarian options as well as meat options. What we have here are the kinkali with spinach inside, creamy spinach. I always like these because the kinkali looks like a big chef's hat. Now there's a certain way that you eat these. You just don't dig in and bite. Small is going to show us the proper way to eat the kinkali here in Georgia. So this little knob at the end is perfect to hold on to. And I think more of the traditional ones have beef in it, but we felt like spinach. So you need to take a bite, a little hole, and suck up the juice. This has become one of our favorites. It's Very eggplant. Good. So they use walnuts a lot, which we love. And they like to mix it in with vegetables. So this is eggplant with a walnut sauce. Um, same goes with beets and spinach. And this is uh, a sort of cornbread that they have. What is this sweet treat? 
Yeah, this is Chinchilla. What? Give it a shot. Big and small love wine. And this is what we like about Georgia, the wine. Georgia is one of the oldest wine regions in the world. Okay, the toast, safe travels. Check out the new wine rooms opening up in Tbilisi and also the favorite red grape variety, the Saparavi, by far the most popular and best red wine in Georgia. What is cha cha? Cha cha is like Georgian vodka, but it's made by grape. Cha cha. Oh, okay. You can try it. Okay. So the metro here in Tbilisi is very easy and very affordable. So first you have to just buy a card. And I think it's like by Lari. We were given this card actually. But a ride itself, you just need to top up and it's really easy on these machines. So one ride on the metro is just 50, about 18 cents USD. Okay. We're ready to go. On our way to the fortress but we're also curious about what the salami steps are and it looks like we're going to see the St. George Church and actually Georgia is called Georgia because they love St. George here. So we continued walking up and now we're on the top near uh, you know pretty much overlooking Tbilisi. Now you see the cross behind me. Uh, Georgia has been a Christian area since the fourth century. Pretty much since the Romans came out uh, this far east since the fourth century, they have held on and been one of the earliest Christian states. Pretty incredible history there. Climbing up the fortress. A little bit steep. The mother of Georgia, Cartless Detta, built in 1958, the year Tbilisi celebrated its 1500th anniversary. Joseph Stalin, vile figure in history. We're going to his printing press, the Joseph Stalin printing press here in Tbilisi. Let's continue. Давай! Schnell! Schnell! Yeah, okay, okay, yes. This little house hides lots of tunnels. Whoa. Whoa. And then he go all the way down and then here and then climb up. And it's this little hiding spot. Joseph Stalin was born in Gori, Georgia, just west of Tbilisi. He helped run this underground printing house with a team of Bolsheviks who printed out thousands of pamphlets of propaganda until it was burned down in 1906. Today, it's part of the Georgian Communist Party headquarters. <laughs> The Georgian language is one of the oldest. It really is surprising. Look at the characters they use. It reminds me of Thai. I can't quite read this quite yet. But this is my favorite. It looks like a little fist. Fist. Yes. 
to the Parliament Building, several museums, and many restaurants and cafes. We recommend visiting the Georgian National Museum. There's an exhibition about the Soviet occupation. And you can learn about the discovery of a nearly two million year old fossil of a pre-homo sapien that was unearthed in Georgia. We are at Freedom Square, also known as Liberty Square. There was an assassination attempt, unsuccessfully, of former President George Bush Jr. here in 2005. He was here to celebrate the 60th anniversary of World War II. Dry Bridge flea market, and there's a lot of great antiques here, um, stuff from the Soviet era as well. There's a lot of cool pins here, including some from the Olympics. The market has origins from the early days of independence. People come, sell whatever they have, and it truly is everything. Georgia has a lot of stray dogs. If you note on one side, a lot of them are tagged. Yeah. See the tag there? The Bridge of Peace is a distinct modern feature that connects the old town of Tbilisi to its new right area. Now, for real, some amazing boats are on the river if you got five seconds. This is the boat trip, which takes half an hour. Six yeah, 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 this is a tout, one of the many that you'll see on this bridge. Visit the old town of Tbilisi. Tbilisi is built on top of thermal springs. You can enjoy the therapeutic waters at the sulfur baths in the old town. So if you have a metro card like this, the ride is only 250 gel. And um, we're not really sure where it goes. The last time we were on a cable car was in Sarajevo. This is pretty nice. What you see is a view of the Kora River. This bridge. A view of the old town, pretty much. A very short cable car ride. So right here, we're kind of in the depths of the Hero Square area. It's a little bit off the mark, but we highly recommend coming over here. TBDC has a lot of interesting street art and graffiti. It's not really known as a place to look for, but walk around the underground passages and you'll see. And you can go all the way around and see it. It's pretty cool. In terms of being a digital nomad, Tbilisi is really good. We stayed in Tbilisi for one month. As Americans, we can stay visa-free for up to one year. This is the case for many other nationalities as well. 
Georgia also has a very low cost of living that is comparable and often less than many popular spots in Southeast Asia. Food is good and affordable, public transportation is efficient and cheap, and rent can be as low as a few hundred dollars a month. Thank you for watching. Or as they say in Georgian, Madloba. Watch for some new videos in the future in Southeast Asia. I hope you enjoy. As usual, please subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell to get all of our updates. Thank you. Ciao.